Hey, what's up, dear friends and viewers? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're gonna... Well, we're still in the power plant. I need, need to say that first. Where we are, we just rebooted the power, lifted the lockdown, and now we can go outside and get Michaela her medicine, because that's, of course, the utmost priority. So I'm guessing we're gonna do a lot of side questing today, because I feel like this uh, is pretty much nearing its end. So let's wrap up some side quests while we're at it. Here we go, let's go outside. I hear lots of noises. Lots of not so normal noises. Okay, yeah, that's a great start. Um, there we go, glue cannon. You know what, if you want to come my direction, go ahead. But you're going to have to do it straight at that point. You're going to have to take a look around because I feel like there's a lot that can go wrong here. Um, so, Madison. Hill Breach, Cargo Bay. Ah, Makeda's Madison. And there is actually a timer on that, so an hour and a half. Which is, of course, plenty of time. Let's grab that first. Where the hell is that? Ooh, there's that telepath. There's that telepath. He's firing at me. Ow. Sign nullified, but I don't really care about that, so... Let's just fire at his face. Ooh, and then this guy's gonna... Is that guy seriously coming coming and messing with me? I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's cancel that. And then back to the... No, no, the pistol. The pistol. Ow. Ow. I do get damaged because of that, but... I'll gladly take that. Let's heal up. I have plenty of things to heal off of. So let's just grab... That thing secret. I hear all the noises. What was that on the left? That sounded like screeching. Terrifying screeching. The cystoids are still going around as well. And I'm out of pistol bullets. Should have made a few of those if I wanted to use them to uh, kill the telepath. But there we go. More spare parts for me. Oh, yeah. Ow. Damn you. Damn you, cystoids. Okay, but this is the hull breach. And there's another cystoid nest over there. For fuck's sake. I do know there's also two. I think those are there. The two. Ooh. The two uh, neuromods. Ow. Morgan, this is Dr. Igwe. I've made it to your office. I'll remain here until... Dr. Igwe. My word. What are you? And why are you speaking in Morgan's voice? I am January, Morgan Yu's personal operator. Well, January. Sorry, your arrival was a bit of a shock. Quite a day today, you know. If you are referring to the Typhon infestation of Talos 1, Dr. Igwe, you are correct. You are one of the few survivors. I... yes. It's... Wait, is that fabricator functioning? I might be able to make use of it, with your permission, Mo... Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Igwe, and manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the Typhon. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. Hmm, interesting. Now I'm January is gonna call me... I oh, know. Oh, you make me so mad sometimes. You never listen to me. Okay, but I did get you your medicine, so I'm definitely listening to you now. That was only one neuromold. And I don't think that's the door that I could see those neuromolds through. So, I think there's another opening then. You know what, let's go back to uh, Michaela and give her her medicine before we do anything else. Oh, you know what? Can we actually heal up on this thing? Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough day. Yes, I did. Don't forget to complete oh, a wow. questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. That is awesome. I need to do that more. Um, damn, Michaela. Here you go. Oh, God, Morgan. You surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck. Ugh. Just look for the marks. <coughs> It was harder when I was doing it myself. Um. <gasps> oh, 
God, that's horrifying. <sighs> oh God, I can breathe again. There we go. Feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. You're welcome. I still don't know why this Morgan doesn't really talk. Because we know she has a voice actress. So why not do those voice lines as well? But now we need to go over there. And if I recall correctly, Michaela did tell us that there's gas in the room now. Yeah. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive... I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. And avoid you risked your life to help her. It makes me think the neuromod extraction didn't erase everything. Not completely. Oh, God. Perhaps particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions. Intuitive feelings. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to... I don't mean to be insensitive, but when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos 1, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station. Repairs can be made. Okay, so January is still happy to kill everybody on board, which is definitely a problem, but I'll quick save. And then I need to avoid all sparks. And I saw a phantom over there already. level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Maybe I should avoid... Well, not equip the shotgun at the mo- Oh. Did the staircase just drop out as well? Is that right here? No. No, 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 no. Dangerous warning. So he's going Dangerous over there. Level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid can actually all open hit him with the sparks until repairs can be made. I can hit him with that. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm just gonna. Oh, hi. Dangerous hi. Dangerous Is that way up now? Explosive gas detected. Please Ooh, evacuate Jesus. and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. I think I killed it. He did hit me Warning. with a psycho shock Dangerous there. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks what until the? repairs can be made. Oh, so those are also attacking now. Great. Um, but I think... Oh, this actually blocks projectiles. So I can actually just tank the hits like this. Ow. Or not. Or not. Oh. Um... I think I killed it. There's more Shaco Shocks coming in from the side. Um, this is weird and I need to kill these off like that. Uh, another suit repair kit. How many Neuromods do I have? One. Okay, never mind. I was gonna go for the uh, the range upgrades otherwise, but not like this. Not like this. They are vulnerable to stun, but I don't know if that actually counts. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Ow. There we go. Hit it in the face. Hit it in the face. And I'll just keep the wrench handy. We killed three of them, which I think was all of them. I could actually... wait. Can I repair Tank this? integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Uh -huh. I can actually fix this and then close off this. Tank integrity restored. Uh -huh. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. And then I could either repair this or probably just plug it. There we go. That would have been easier. That would have been definitely a lot easier, but yeah. Never mind, we fixed it. We fixed it. I love this game. I love this game, how you can just change things on the fly. Now the problem is, how do we get back up? Um, I'll use the glue cannon, I suppose. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 99.79%. I forgot Threat one. Explosive gas minimal. Normal operations may resume pending supervisor approval. Okay, so let's get back up then. There we go. Climb back up. 
And that's supposedly it for this area. I suppose Michaela can get a way out of here. Now this. Uh, so if I take the elevator up. Oh. What was that? Something saw me there, but... So in here... Those two neuromolds. Look, those two. I don't know where that is. There's actually three of them. Okay. Nothing I can do about that right now. So let's just... Hmm. I feel like that lamp was still working when I first entered this area, but... Let's not waste too much time on that. Let's just go back to life support. And see what we can do over there. There's bound to be another side quest in here. Um... I'm pretty sure there was no weaver stuff when we first came in here. So I'm guessing there's another weaver in here. But I also remember that there's part of the treasure map in this area. Um, and I think it was in the water treatment facility over there. And I think there's mo more voltaic phantoms over there as well. But let's check that out. And there's at least one over there. And I feel like there's one right behind this area. Because it's really, really loud. The other one is turning around. So, EMP charge. Oh, he's up there. Okay. So, I think that number is probably the treasure map number. Can I look at it from here? Because otherwise I'm just going to leave. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Probably should just kill the Voltaic Phantom up there first, and then move down. And then we can go with the shotgun. There we go. And he definitely knows where I am now. So if he goes up here, I can actually zap him with another EMP charge. He's Shocking me through the floor, but... And then the... Engineer... There we go. Engineering operator. Down! There we go. We have the tools to do all that. I feel uber powerful. And that's that. Okay. Two operators down... Uh, one operator down and two voltaic phantoms down. Great. So now we can take a look around. Uh, we even got some of our shotgun shells back, so that's nice. Let's reload that while we're at it and recycle a few things. Lots of exotic materials because we now have the necropsy skill. But I think this, there we go, is another treasure hunt clue. So that's good. I think I cleared out everything else in this area. And I'm just going to check the quest log. I don't think there's anything else here. There's apparently someone that, that's named Kirk Remmer I need to find. Kirk Remmer. And he's supposed to be in life support. Okay. Guess I, I'll, I'll just find him then. Oh, so there's another... There he goes. And that's a, a stealth attack, so he dies in one go. You can grab his stuff as well. Q-beam cells, always nice. Kirk Rammer. Don't think there's a security office. Oh, I think that actually works. I didn't know that could actually work, but oh wow, he actually dies pretty quickly if you get a uh, the drop on him on the weaver. That was um, yeah, quick. So he might actually be in here, and it is hackable. The supply closet. Let's hack this thing. And there we go. Hacking is pretty straightforward. I am gonna use the shotgun. The supply closets are often filled with mimics. Because they like it here. Although this seems to be pretty safe. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. Lots of metal materials, which is really, really nice. And then a bunch of neuromods, three of them. And the Trans Star Uniform Guide, we saw that before. And a weapon upgrade kit, that's always very nice. Always very nice. I think we might be able to upgrade our weapons to the full by the end of this. And that's basically it. There's one more turret here as well, might as well take him with me. There we go. And just put them 
put them down around here somewhere just to protect this hallway there we go good little turret so I'm gonna try to see what happens when we actually use one of the escape pods currently experiencing okay function engineering has been notified please use another so they're all gonna be broken just wanted to check that out because I don't want to believe anybody on his word I can actually fix this button because this might actually house Kirk Rammers. Oh god! But I think I killed I killed him before he hit me. That was just in time. Um, Angela Diaz, kinetic amp and a recycler charge. Okay, that's another corpse we definitely need to find for some of the trophies. But nope, no Kirk Rammer. No Kirk. Is this Kirk? Kirk, is this you? No, you me. Oh, on top of the pipes there's at least one more corpse here. And we have Max Wakel Kurtz. Okay, air mixture regulated fabricated plan. And a wrench. So that's another... What the hell is that? It's another object that I can make in the fabricator, but I don't know where to use that. Oh, injection override. So that sounds like what we need, right? Johnny Brungen. There's definitely a lot of corpses in this area, but not the, the specific corpse that I need. Um, so I've turned this entire place upside down, found a lot of corpses, but not the one we're actually looking for. So let's head back up, because there's an upper floor to this. And maybe he's just one of the corpses up there, um, which could be, or I might just get ambushed by another nightmare because there's one on top of the staircase or some or elevator or something like that. And oh, there's definitely a duo over there. God damn it. And I hear mimics as well. Oh god. Those are those. Oh. Can you please drop that? Thank you. I wanna reload. So there's a thermal phantom over there. Oh god. What type is this one? Is that a voltaic? There goes that one. And there's more thermal stuff where that came from. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be quick on this. My suit is fine for now. I'm just gonna eat a few bananas. Damn it, that did hit me. Okay, health kit and suit prepare kit. And then I need to reload. Boom! And I think that kills the mimics off as well. Was there another voltaic there? Because I heard the firing noise. Nothing? I hear twitching noises when I go through all of that, but for now, this seems to be fine. There was another... There's a lot of mimics here, but yeah, there we go. A tank phantom. That's what I want. Okay. Okay, there's still two more areas in life support, of course. Because life support is pretty big. And I do need to do something with the water treatment facility, probably. But now that I cleared this out, I'm just going to check upstairs again. Because all of these probably have materials I can use. Met B, Met B, Met B, Met B. Aha, the security station. Of course, I've never been in there. Because I think if I would have seen his corpse already, I would have gotten a, an identification here. But I can't access it. So for that, I need to find a key card. Great, 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 great. But, 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 but. We still have... Atmosphere control as well, probably houses a few more thermal phantoms. I'm fine with that. And this is probably just nothing, right? Let's go down again. I want to first do that water treatment thing. So there's a fabricator to the side here. So if I check that out, an air mixture regulator component for controlling air mixture and delivery through Talos 1. Let's create what that. There we go. Air mixture. That should probably help us in air control, atmosphere control, not water treatment, as I thought it was going to be. So, 
air going up. I'm so meta right now, I'm even doing side quests that aren't actually marked on my HUD. Which is interesting. So there's definitely something there. I'm gonna blast it in the face with a shotgun. That's what I'm gonna do. And I run out of the way of those explodey thingies. There we go, it's another thermal down. Eat everything I can get, and more 9mm bullets. Always nice. Always nice. So that's one thermal. There we go, and that actually puts him on the floor. Don't want to get too close either. Because he actually does damage from close up as well. There we go. So no waves are still the easiest way of dealing with those guys. Great. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, what was that? Engineering operator corrupted. Okay. So. Can I actually do something here? So this is atmosphere control. So that's where I need to enter that. What does this do? Initiate decontamination. We've done that before. Don't really know what that did. Oh wow, the operator saw me. Oh no, what am I going to do? Aha, we never opened this up, but I can hack it. So that's always nice. There we go. Hacking succeeded. We know there's an operator behind there, so... Let's just blast him in the face. Come on. Of Wiedersehen. Oxygen flow control. That sounds good. That sounds really good. So good even. And I want to bet that there's going to be a way of putting that thing that I just made in somewhere. The MacTech chipset. I don't really know what that's going to do. And it's a chipset on the scope. So I won't be able to do anything with that. There is a note here. Storage room near the graph shafts has extra O2 tanks. But we opened that up already. So no need for the key there oh and there is another panel over there maintenance access panel above the door here okay okay does that mean that this room is symmetrical like that meaning that there's a panel up there as well because i don't want to return here again later on we've done this so many times now but, yeah, doesn't seem like I will be able to get into that room. Maybe from underneath? But that would also be weird, right? I can interrupt the controls here and go down, but that doesn't really help me out. Okay, so that means that we still can't finish off life support, which is too bad because I cleared everybody out now. Um, but that means that I'm gonna go back uh, up and that's to the lobby. The lobby gives us access to a few other things that we need to do as well. So, okay, we're getting a call, Ethan. Your office, Morgan. I guess I see where all that Transstar money goes. Chief Ilyushin? You're alive! Igre? You made it? Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, is that... No, no, that is... I am January. Morgan use personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. So, it's the three of us. Four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Chief Ilyushin, please do not- Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Okay, so we did get a trophy for that. Which is interesting, and I feel like January is getting her plan a bit mixed up there. Um, okay, so that's starting to get interesting. I want to go back to my office now. Lobby! Because I felt like we were doing uh, slowly, side quest wise, but this is getting more interesting. This is definitely getting more interesting. Whew, this place has seen better days. But let's get up to our office. I do need to heal up, probably. Should definitely heal up. With water fountains. Nope. Nope. Not a good idea. But. But. Oh. The security office. Let's use that. Immediately now. To locate. Uh, Mike Rammer. Hey, was it? Talos. I think this it was. It's Kirk Rammer. But. He doesn't seem to be. On the list. Oh. There we go. He's in the cargo bay. 
but no, location life, he's originally from the cargo bay, but he is supposed to be in life support right now. So there we go. Let's track Kirk Rammer and we'll see him later on. But at least that's on our map now. So our office, I'm going to say before this, because I feel like there might be some decision making here. There we go. So let's check that out. Tell me again how the decompression happened. It was very sudden. I don't know the specifics, but I had to act quickly. The decompression occurred due to a detonation in the cargo bay. January, I asked Dr. Igwe. Oh, uh, I don't know. Perhaps an explosion or structural damage from the Typhon attack? Which would have originated where? Psychotronics? That is unlikely, Chief Ilyushin. January, instead of wasting our time interrupting, go check the reployers. All of them. That would not be relevant to my directives. No, thank you. Okay, so let's have a little chat with Michaela here. Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. I found the right materials for the glue gun as well. Was able to make several canisters. Ah, so the items on the desk were I from him. I also found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. What is she doing? Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them, no twitching. To be sure, I let Igwe sample them first. Pardon me? I'm joking, Igwe. I wouldn't willingly expose you to aliens. Or anyone else. That would be... inhuman. Ah, uh, we got a weapon upgrade kit. Uh, the, they just keep tossing things in my direction, which is <clears throat> nice. Uh, I probably should talk to Dr. Igwe as well. I wish I could make my way to my quarters. I have some personal effects I'd rather not leave behind. Such as? This is certainly better than the cargo crate. But I suspect we are still trapped. Okay. I okay, know like anything else? He always has a backup plan. He must. He probably has. I never told you why I altered my medical records. I know you were so sure when you were lecturing me, Morgan, saying I was selfish and... My father. He was imprisoned for questioning the Soviet intervention in India. Many prisoners are lost in Siberian labor camps, but my father Is this vanished. The only thing I knew for certain was Tronstar was recruiting volunteers from those labor camps. I came here because of you and Alex and your experiments to find him. And now I know he was here. I noticed on your computer. You found a set of names and ID numbers from Psychotronics, from Dr. Gallegos. The Russian volunteers were never referenced by name, but I was able to match an ID to my father. We can pull up his records. Archived experiment logs. Okay. I've already asked a great deal of you, but if you could find that archive in deep storage, I'll finally know what happened to my father. His name was Yuri Andronov. V01065532. Okay. Any luck we'll finding a way that. the station. Volunteer database password Morgan. acquired. Okay. So that's another very cool side quest there. Hello, January. The discoveries made aboard Talos 1 seem to validate some form of panpsychism. Consciousness is a fundamental force that exists everywhere to one degree or another. It Morgan. seems plausible then that an organism evolved which is able to metabolize complex forms of consciousness. What are you saying? They eat other minds? Yes. That's... How can something like that exist? You designed me to assist you. I have more instructions, but I can't access them until you've recovered both arming keys. Um, January, you, you, you probably shouldn't talk about that while these two were here, but... That does make me wonder what happens if you play the video right now. Does that... I'm gonna quick save before I do that. But I just wanna experiment a bit with their AI. Do they react if I... Oh, I, cl I can't play it. I can't play it anymore. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm do gonna check what I just got from all these people. So now I have five neuro mods and four weapon upgrade kits. So might as well upgrade the glue cannon a bit further. Most elite in range. And then maybe one in handling. And then go to the Q-beam. 
and we're gonna probably upgrade that to the max next so 30 percent movement right now and then up to 50 next time um there's also more the recycler over here i should probably use that there we go the exotic material is skyrocketing because of uh Why necropsy Why russian volunteers Okay. Well, the Russian penal system is quite unforgiving, and their alliance with the Transdai interest economically coincided. It was Catherine Yu's idea, their mother, and Alex saw the advantages. So, they were murdered because of political convenience and cost savings? The term murder I would dispute, but I do not wish to lie to you. These two factors made them good candidates for the research development here. It is far easier to persuade a man to volunteer for experimental trials when his other prospects include capital punishment or life in prison. I would dispute the term volunteer, Doctor. Okay, so that's a bit more information about the Russian quote-unquote volunteers. And we just replenished our supplies a bit, so that's going to be nice. Now we do need to spend our neuro molds. We basically maxed out scientist and engineer at least to how far I want to go with this. And then we need to go into security, which is probably going to be ooh, sneak attack damage. Stealth is probably not a bad idea. Or toughness. Although mobility too sounds really fun. Gain the ability to sprint with ludicrous speed and to jump incredibly high. So let's go towards that one because that sounds really really great stamina i feel like that that's a bit of a weird one because i've never run out of stamina i don't really swing all that much but even running i don't feel like i've done too much of that now there was one room here that i couldn't access because i didn't have leverage three 